finding a percentage of a quantity or a total. In most of our percentage questions, we will have a total amount. This is my total amount here, and I want to find 23% of it. And if we do the working correctly, it really helps us to get the right method. So I'm going to write the steps. Now, in one of the other videos, which is called, I think, How to Solve Any Percentage Problem, I did a different method. You're most welcome to do that one instead. But this one is worth, will work just for this sort of question, finding a percentage of a quantity or total. So my steps are, write the question. And this is actually really important. X percent of total. So when we write the question here, I'm going to write 23% of 16.50. That's what I mean. Write the percentage of the total and you write it just like that with an equal sign. Now the reason you write it just like that is because this tells you what your working will be. Percent becomes over 100. So instead of writing 23%, that percent, you notice how it looks like a one and two zeros? Write it as 23 over 100 in this case. Of always means times in maths. Like remember lots of, three lots of six would be three times six. Of equals times. So where the of was, we're now going to write times. And then we write the amount, the total, 1650. And that is what we type in to get the answer. So just by writing this out and rewriting it, we get our working perfect to tell us what to do. 23 divided by 100 times the total amount, 1650. That is, in money, in dollars, because it's money, 379.5. And because it's money, we need two decimal places. That's it. You get really beautiful working, and the working tells you what to do so you don't make any mistakes. Anytime you're finding a percentage of a total amount, write percentage of the total, rewrite it in this way, and it tells you what to type into the calculator. Because you should always write down what's going in the calculator before you type it in. So let's use that method here. Ms. Goth has 8,500 in an account that earns 3.4% interest, and that's in one year. So how much will she earn in one year? So this is our total, and this is our percentage. And we want to find this percent of this total. So the clues that tell us that I'm finding a percentage of a total is that there's a percent sign in the question. So they've told me a percentage that they want. And they've told me a total amount. So this tells me this is a percentage of a total. You write, find the percentage of the total. 3.4% of 8,500. Then you put your equal sign and you rewrite your percentage as the number over 100, 3.4 over 100. Your of is times and 8,500. You don't normally put dollar signs in your working, only at the start when you're saying what you're doing and at the end when you've got your answer. And that tells me what to type into the calculator. 3.4 divided by 100 times 8,500, 289. 
and because it was money we say $289 and because it was a word question we say therefore Ms. Goth will earn $289 in one year. And we know to write that because the question asked how much will she earn in one year? So we have to answer that question, she will earn this much in one year. And it's not polite to say she, so we say Ms. Goth. So that's how you find a percentage of a total. If you follow these steps and working, it'll be very easy.